Welcome to our uh, beer review, folks. We're on our last pack, our last beer of our six pack review. Yep, you know what it is? It's the uh, Young Double Chocolate. Oh, snap. I've had this, he hasn't. I'm, uh, I prefer stouts. I, will, I like milk stouts. Uh, I'd like to have a coffee stout. I've never had a, and I've never had a coffee stout. Products Which, of England, established 1831. The only coffee stouts I've seen have been in uh, cans, so I've been kind of leery from that. But, uh, and I can't find them in singles. But I've had this before. And this is an ale, folks. Oh, it's stout. This is ale. Ale with natural chocolate flavor added. But it also says stout. Yes, it does. I didn't see that. Just like the, uh, the video of the, uh, that pissed off Wasp. I forgot what beer it was. Old Scratch is what it was. It said it was a lager and an ale, I think is what it said. Yeah, Amber Lager Ale. Smells good, folks. It smells kind of like coffee almost. Oh, man. Uh, this is when it says double chocolate. Trust me, it's talking about chocolate. It has a, uh, a dark chocolate hint. I'm sorry, a punch in the face. Hardly. I was actually recommended this by his wife, who don't like beers. <laughs> she said it tastes terrible. Yeah, she said it wasn't the worst she's ever had, though. She did say that. Yeah, but uh, trust me, when it says double chocolate, it's not talking about any sort of coffee in it at all. Uh, the milk stout I had had coffee in it. That was a really good one, which I don't think I've reviewed yet. Actually, I know I haven't reviewed yet. Me and Jesse still have a three-pack with the milk stout in it we haven't had. No head to this beer at all. There's no carbonation coming out of it. Um, it's a very thick liquid. Um, you can't see through it. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm beyond <laughs> faded. <laughs> Steven's <laughs> faded. No more driving for Steven today. It's all right. It's Bedtime for him. I think he's got to work tomorrow. Tonight. Yeah. Which might I add, when we take him, oh wait, we got, we still got to go by Broadway <laughs> Liquor to talk to the management today. That's We're gonna be screwed. That's well, good. thanks for the beers. We're just sheer <laughs> proof of what it looks like when you drink a bunch of them. No, but this is gonna be uh, probably the first day in a while I've uh, gone outside of my house without concealed carrying or open carrying. Protect our rights. I'm being unsafe for you. Oh, for your for your viewing pleasure. If I die, it's your fault. <laughs> Which you won't see this video, so it won't matter anyway. So if you see this video, I'm alive. Thank God. Wow. It it doesn't smell like chocolate, but it has a definite uh, stout smell to it. If you've had any stouts whatsoever, if you haven't, you need to try stouts. I like stouts. This is like chewing on a dark chocolate bar with yeah. cocoa. I was gonna say if you if you ever took a teaspoon of cocoa, raw cocoa, into your mouth. Or even sprinkled some just to taste the flavor. You have this. This wow. It's good. Wow. I can't move. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's thick. <laughs> it is thick. Thick as mud, folks. Thick as mud. I like it though. Uh, for a stout, I would give this up there with eight and a half to nine. Uh, I know, I give it a little lower. Maybe seven and a half to eight because the milk stout's a little better. Ooh. <laughs> I'm trying not to throw up. It's coming. Ooh, I, took, I took it hard. Six beers and a half an hour. Oh. It's kind of inevitable, guys. Uh, uh, it's a little longer than that. Is it? Probably about an hour. Oh. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. No. <laughs> Nothing. I felt better after I did, I'll tell but you. But this that. is good. Yeah, well, it's nothing nothing to do with the beer at all. It's the fact that, that we're in that 100 red degree heat. or whatever it was. Yeah, we're in 100 degree. He hasn't got rid of that red zeal. I had it immediately. My body said no. And I, I go to beer rate something or beer something.com. It's got a 91%, which I agree with. Oh, yeah, it's a definitely a good beer. This is something everybody could at least try once in their life. But try it once. Because the milk stout is a six pack and it's it's about the same price range, maybe a dollar more. And I like the milk stout a little better. It's not as hard. And I think it's higher alcohol. This kind of reminds me of a beer my cousin brought back from the Netherlands. I'm not. I don't remember the name, and I don't even want to try to pronounce it. But uh, this is uh, the thickness and the consistency of that brew. Uh, Young's double stout or double chocolate. Uh, well and Young's Limited made in New in uh, England. Five point two percent alcohol. It's a good brew. It's not something to chug, though. Guys got balls. I, I can't do it. I'm glad we didn't decide to do any more beers. Which I have some uh, Budweiser Black Crown in the fridge we might try. 
<laughs> you up for number seven? I'm down. Oh, shit. Well, there it is. Good thing it was this much in there. <laughs> yeah, he's gotten rid of his I'm almost all the way. You guys are going to have to watch me slowly sip mine because I'm not oh. doing round two of Mr. Red's. There goes like 40 cents of beer. The ants are eating good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to this state, but the ants are horrible. <laughs> I'm just glad there was about this much beer in the, in the cup. It's good beer. Let me go see how much time we're sitting at here. 5.37, I had to close the left eye to look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be an interesting day. Yeah, let's let's try to kill time. So this is a bullet, you see. <laughs> this is a bullet, you see. <laughs> <laughs> this is an ice pack. And there's 20 seconds of video. Alright. Let me help that a little bit right here. Just a little bit. <laughs> no, there's a weird you. guy, you see. <laughs> You got a little drool right here. Oh! <laughs> I'm not the only weird guy, guy. Well, if we don't have any fans yet, we're gonna. <laughs> you know, it's just part of the game. I want to see... I'd like to see some fellow reviewers. I want to see if anybody can do the same six beers as us and not throw up. You know, I don't care if you have a video or if you have a channel playing video games, which I do. Yeah. Or a, a channel showing guns, which I do. Or a gun... gun. Uh, there's an old guy looking at me like I'm not fucking crazy. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Oklahoma. The Bible is neighbors. We're in the backyard and there's chain link fence between me and the, the 65 year old people that think I'm just an asshole. <laughs> it's okay though, everybody's entitled to their opinion. That's part of being American. As I've said, since November, I've only can still carry maybe six, seven days, and I open carry every day. <laughs> a lot of people don't know how to take it. Where I'm from in Colorado, that's the law. You're allowed to open carry without a permit. Um, so it's not very uncommon. When I moved to Oklahoma, everybody talked about concealed permit, concealed, concealed, concealed. I don't believe in it. Um, my opinion, that gun deters them from trying anything. Uh, if they see it, Sure, it puts you in a vulnerable state, but if you had proper training and you have the proper equipment, such as, you know, uh, the anti-pool holster or uh, a little bit of martial arts training, you're going to be able to protect your weapon and neutralize the situation before it ever becomes a threat to you and yours. Um, that is why proper training is key to owning a firearm, which I've had. I'm sure Steven's had. He's got his concealed. I've, take, I've done uh, quite a few quick draw Two shot, reholster, re moved to a different location. Yeah, yeah, you know. Um, here in Shawnee, there's actually a good friend of mine. His name's Paul Abel. He owns shooting irons out there, and uh, that's a nationally accredited school. Uh, he was a sheriff in this town for 40, 50 years. Um, if you have any shooting needs, I recommend going to Paul Abel, shooting irons. And that stout, I will give it a definite. I think I've already. That man happened to die. I don't know. Uh, four stout, uh, a definite seven and a half, eight. With milk stout is honestly the best I've had for a stout, which is, uh, me and Storm reviewed it, and I'm sure I gave it a lower review than, uh, like I said, these numbers are nothing. I would definitely buy the milk stout again. Just like I definitely buy, uh, that Young's double chocolate, even though it's nine something for a four pack. I'm buzzed off of one beer, folks. I'll tell you that, straight up. That that young double chocolate packs a punch. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't have the highest alcohol content. Uh, maybe it's just the ingredients. Yeah, you, you shake it, and it looks a little thick. Or doesn't look very thick, but once you get it in your mouth, it, it feels good and creamy. It's it's a full-bodied beer, to say the least. Which I'm leaning more toward. Uh, I've, now that I've done more uh, different kinds of beer, I've, I've uh, come to find myself liking stouts more than anything. They got a more of a flavor, I think. They, they, it's not so much as like uh, an aftertaste with a stout. It's uh, more of like a crisp, mm -hmm. crisp finish. It doesn't have the, uh, as you can see in our video, maybe here, folks, we got a little wasp wanting to take a drink here. <laughs> uh, stouts have let me down a lot less than lagers and ales. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, I've only had a few good ales. I've never really been 
too much of a fan for the ales. I've only had a few good ones. Yeah. I like a lager better. A lager's good. The stouts, I haven't drank many stouts, but uh, Stevens actually turned me on to a lot more stouts than I would have experienced on my own, which is a good thing. I believe in uh, having experience. You know, and, and get with your friends. Find out what you guys like. You know what I mean? If you try a few beers and you don't like them or you don't agree with their opinions, that's all right. That's what we're entitled to. That's what uh, our armed forces provide our feedings for, so you guys can do that. Um, but I recommend you at least try everything reviewed if you're going to be a social drinker. I mean, know your brew. That's part of it. I mean, if you're going to do something, you might as well learn as much as you can about it. My opinion. And at least have two of each kind of, you know, lager, ale, stout, uh, pilsner, um, should have others I haven't mentioned, but, uh, try the low end, try the high end, and say you like a lager, then try a high end lager. You, you know, may not go even from there. like it. You may not yeah. even like it. A lot of times, um, spending more money doesn't necessarily mean you're getting a better product. No. Which, uh, this Friday I'm headed to OKC, and... Uh, there's a liquor store up there I'm going to be hitting that has pints that are like five bucks a piece. And me and Jesse's going to get maybe three. We're going to uh, do some shooting. I'm going to try out my flash enhancer and my AR. My wife more than likely is going to be putting some first rounds through her uh, Glock 19. She's a little skittish. But, uh... Should be good. On hand training. Yeah. yeah. It's, what, it's what's required. I appreciate you guys watching our review for the Young's Double Chocolate Stout. Bottle's so frosty. Um, let us know what you think. And on a side note, this is uh, to, get, to do with firearms. If you have a woman in your life that has a fire or doesn't have a firearm and you want to get her one, don't stick her behind a, a revolver. If she can put her makeup on and drive and talk on the cell phone and deal with the radio and still bitch and moan about everything else all at the same time, she can handle a trigger, rack in the slide, that's all there is, alright, uh, so I got her Glock 19, I'm not going to stick her behind a 38 Special, his woman has a, a semi-auto, yep, Caltech, don't, don't think because she's a woman she's stupid, no, uh, <clears throat> my wife actually shoots SIG as her primary weapon and uh, she loves it, SIG, she shoots better than I do and I've shot all my life, so. Ask yourself this, would you put yourself behind a five shot revolver? I don't no. Think so. <laughs> if you're a good shot, maybe. The thing is, it doesn't matter if you're a good shot now. Are you a good shot when dude has a knife to your face? Or a gun to your face? Or a gun to his head? I like to have about seventeen friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh uh you better put your significant other first. Yeah, male or female, it doesn't matter. If you're a woman and you're and you're and you're powerful and you you got a good gun and you're in your man's a little pussy, you better put him behind the same thing you got. All right. Stand behind your arm. Stand behind your right to bear arms. Stand behind your right to protect your family. Do not let the government disarm us. I don't know about his his view, but I'm gonna express mine now. Uh, you know, if you agree differently, then I'm sorry.